uh, the time and uh, how we need to, to be a uh, short um, in saving time. Uh, the following will be straightforward and succinct. Who am I representing? I'm representing University of South Africa and colleagues, you all know that we are celebrating 150 years of unlocking futures and potentials. We are known internationally as the pioneer of um, open distance e-learning. We are proud of ourselves as the first public university in the world to teach exclusively through distance education. Uh, thank you very much. My apologies for that. Uh, we grant opportunities to different economic and social backgrounds, the opportunity to further their dreams of becoming graduates. Our alumni are our brand uh, protectors and uh, builders, and they come from all uh, walks of life. Right, in the Directorate Student Assessment uh, Administration, ourselves as enforcers and custodians of the assessment procedural manual, uh, I'm glad to present this to you that we are having three examination periods in the academic uh, calendar and then the first examination will be January and uh, which, which will have about 1,671 modules that are written and those 1,671 modules, um, they are dominated by the postgraduate modules so that is honors and written masters and uh, the year modules supplementaries that will be coming from October, November. The main June examination, we, the previous one, we had 1,160 modules, and then normally you are having undergraduate semester modules that are written together with the postgraduate uh, supplementaries where supplementary is applicable. October, November, we had 958 modules, and all in all in a year, the number of modules that we are administering is 3,789. And the number of registered students colleagues is uh, 334,049. That's where we are in terms of numbers. 334,049 at an average of four modules. So it, it, uh, you, you could actually uh, tell that we are administering work uh, receiving a lot of assessment pieces. If it's at, at an average of four modules, uh, you've got about 1.2 uh, assessment pieces that has to be administered. Right, uh, before we could actually commence with the examination, we, we, we've got the responsibility to procure the proctoring tools, and the proctoring tools that we are using, colleagues, is the Invigilator app, the iris, which is normally used for the KAIS and CSET in Florida, and we are also having the Moodle app, which is used for all our, our QCs, and MCQs. Right, once all the, 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 the invigilator apps have been procured, then we have a responsibility to create QR codes. What is the work of QR codes? QR codes are used by students and the lecturer on the question paper, the student on the day of the examination, to unlock and ensure that they get into an invigilation app. You cannot be invigilated if you are not using, if you haven't used your QR code to log in. So the lecturer will do this before the commencement of the examination. A day before, they will send those QR codes to students that have been admitted to write examination. On daily basis, in different colleges, we are having college ballrooms where the primary lecturer, together with administrative staff from assessment, are managing the examinations. If the examination starts at 8 o'clock, then the downloading of the question paper and the key of the QR code will start at quarter to 8. We'll look at the number of downloads that have happened. We'll look at the possible technical issues that students might be encountering. We'll look at, uh, at um, come 1 minutes past 8, we'll look at those that have successfully gained access to the examination. That will be the duty of the uh, college hall rooms. As in when there are challenges, it is then their responsibility to make alterations where necessary. And we are also having a joint online committee, which is an institutional committee that oversees all colleges in our seven colleges that things are going well. Should there be a, a problem with our system which enables our students to write examination on the day in question, this is the right committee that will make a decision for a retake. And this is a committee that will make a decision uh, after the college hall rooms have made a submission to say are we going to extend the examination or not. Be reminded, colleagues, 
that as things stands in South Africa, we've got low shading. As things stands in South Africa, we've got power cuts. So there are at times that we are having serious problems in, in different colleges or in different cities, and then those cannot be ignored. We actually attend to those. DSAA is equally responsible for for the for the for the collection of English leader apps reports. We reports am I referring to? As and when the students are writing the examination, whatever that happens uh, in, in, the, in the examination get reported. What am I referring to? At the beginning of the examination, the which later app will give a prompt message to a student to say, please, you know, scan your ID. Second, uh, as and when you will be writing, there will be a prompt again to say, please uh, take a photo of the of, of the page where you are in terms of the exams that you are writing, please take the survey. So, as in when the examination is done, it is then our responsibility to collect that report and determine as to whether was student plagiarizing or were students discussing the question paper with others, and then if, the, if there were collaboration of some sort, then uh, with different languages we interpret, we send it to the primary lecturer. And the primary through the court in a work plagiarized is sufficient to can be taken to, uh, to the DC or not. And uh, we are equally responsible for the DCs and that uh, is being uh, run by the, the through the student disciplinary code uh, and uh, the, the, the what are we aiming on on this student disciplinary code? We are aiming at upholding the name and the reputation of the university. We want to maintain order, discipline, safety and security of the university. And over and above all, we want uh, our qualification to maintain the integrity that it has. Right, um, everything that we do, we're doing it online, colleagues. Uh, remember, we're doing all of our examination online. And um, what we do is that we, we've got the primary lecturer who's got a sole responsibility uh, of ensuring that if he's having more numbers, that the external, external examiners are sourced, external examiners are given access to the marking, and external examiners are given rights that they will actually use as and when they are doing the, the marking of the examination. Now, the, the, the online marking, the, we, the permission or the access that we are giving to them, we give them permission to be able to navigate uh, to the view of submissions of pages and then to view all submissions uh, pages and to grade whatever that they are marking around the day. But immediately after they have graded, it then comes back to the primary lecturer who has a sole responsibility of releasing those marks to the functionality or to the cloud called examination and uh, XMO with this exam online. The exam online, it's a platform where after the lecturer has marked together with external examiners or moderators and the primary lecturer have, have uh, you know, satisfied himself that everything went well, did the QC and the results are now ready to be released, then ourselves as examination department, as DSS as assessment people, will be able to go and synchronize those marks from Moodle as the platform and to the XMO for us to be able to do the general adjustment and all that needs to be done in terms of QC and showing that the correct marks are, are being released. So everything is happening online, no paper base. Right, now the student have written the examination, the lecturer have marked the examination together with the external examiners, the, 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 the DSAA have submitted full report in as to what was happening on the day of the examination in different students that um, the integrity committee also were, were, have access to the report that was actually submitted by DSAA and they've now agreed that this cohort of students has to be taken to the DC and um, we are using the assessment procedural manual page 19 to 31 and the policy of academic integrity it talks to who has to be sent for for dc an ad hoc committee will be will, will be set uh, and they will actually be able to consider every pressurized case submit the, the, the what you call the report and um, as i've already admitted that the academic integrity will do that report 
the Antwerp Committee will also look at the report and finalize to say this has to be uh, you know, called for hearing. Once they've been called for hearing, those students that have actually um, uh, uh, did those transgressions, they will then will look at the, 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 the nature and the extent of the academic misconduct, and if they are found guilty, they will get anything between one and five years in terms of uh, the penalty. They, then that will be the sanction. What are the challenges that we have with online examination? Online examination, good as it is, but we've we've actually opened the back door where online service providers and online tutors have taken advantage of them of the of the market and they are now you know available for our students in doing what in ensuring that they are giving those students answers they are giving those students uh, assisting them online whilst they are writing examination and they are doing all sort of things to ensure that they use the back door to get into our system that is one thing and uh, the popular violation in the process of doing what they will be doing uh, we are also encountering those challenges but we, we are equal to the game these are international problems uh, um, we will actually come over it as we are improving our systems in each and every examination we've had and successfully had eight examinations that have been written so far since the, the online um, since going solely on the e which is e-learning we've had a successfully run eight examinations and then we are doing good in terms of the number of cases that we receive each and every examination what are we doing to ensure that we reduce those numbers and what have we done in ensuring that those numbers are where they are as opposed to the first examination We've adapted a, a zero tolerance to us plagiarism. It's something that we, it does not have a place in our system. Uh, we've created a partnership with students to create awareness. What we'll do is that we've got SRCs, regional SRC, regional SRCs, and then we are actually giving ourselves time to engage them. At, at the beginning of, of each and every academic uh, calendar to ensure that those that are new in the system get to be warned because forward is for armed, and those that are old in the system will continue to repeat the very same message in saying to them, these are the do's and the don'ts, and you doing this, you are on your own because we'll be able to get it, and our systems will be able to get it, and you will be facing the DC. We are also, you know, sharing the reports, uh, the outcomes in it too. In this examination period, um, you as our colleagues, SRC, we've had 20 cases, so many have been found guilty, and then this is not right. Please assist us to assist the course in ensuring that in your little spaces, you get to preach this gospel of ensuring that they do not do this. We are also planning at a particular stage to introduce a, a tenant in at first year level. And the, you know what, what, what tenant in does? It will look at the number of, of, uh, um, um, of, 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 amount of work that is deemed to have been copied as it is without reference and it will have an allowance to say, for us and for this module, we allow at least 80% or 20% for a work that is unreferenced. Because at times, like definitions, it becomes very difficult at times. Because some of us, given the, the, the historical background, you write a definition as it is from the book. That doesn't always mean that you have copied. But we are actually on the verge and doing investigation to see if we can actually introduce, uh, introduce this. And um, it, it will also you know, serve a lot to us in assisting us going forward. Colleagues, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to pause here and submit. I'm more than willing to attend to those program director. I think and believe that I didn't go beyond what we've expected. Thank you very much.